Siobhan, I am learning to swim now. May I ask what makes you love swimming? Do you enjoy the competition? I don't like to lose. How do you handle it? Thank you. From Ashley, who's nine. Um, well, Ashley, I also don't like to lose. <laughs> but sometimes that is part of the process, you know? You don't always succeed and even if you don't win doesn't mean there isn't a lesson there. And what makes me love swimming? I think the one thing that I really like about swimming is how freeing I feel. I'm just floating in the water. It's just me and the pool. And it can be very quiet if I want it to be. Don't have to think about anything else. And I just like how, how relaxed I feel when I'm in the pool. And yes, I also do enjoy competition a lot. <laughs> nice, here's another one for you. Okay. Dear Siobhan, how did you feel when you got the two silver medals at the Olympics? How long do you practice each day? Thank you very much. And this is from Charlotte. Um, I was very excited, very happy, very emotional when I won the two silver medals, but um, because it took so long to get there. It took 20 years of swimming to get there. And so it's very special and very meaningful to me. And how many hours do I swim every day? So I swim for two hours in the morning and then roughly an hour and a half in the gym and then another two and a half hours in the afternoon. So around five to six hours every day. Okay. What was your biggest growing pain and how did you get over it? Um, this is from Evelyn. When I was growing up, it was pretty hard for me to at first find a balance between school and swimming and having really good time management skills, but you just have to find different things that find different things and different tricks and habits to make you get used to being so busy all the time and know how to prioritize your work and just know what is the right thing to do at the right time. Yeah. Oh, this is a red camellia. Dear Siobhan, what inspired you to become a professional swimmer? From Alexis. Um, you know, to be honest, I think it just kind of happened. I have been swimming all my life. And then after I graduated from college in 2019, it was originally a year to go until the Tokyo Olympics. So. I decided to just become a professional swimmer and keep swimming and then the Olympics got postponed and my career also kind of just prolonged so and also I guess I really love swimming that's why um but yeah for the most part it just sort of happened oh to Siobhan oh there's a sticker too <laughs> Hi, Siobhan Zedze. My name is Alessa. I am six years old. I love popsicles and jelly. What food do you like most? When I swim, I don't like it when water goes into my nose. Will water go into your nose when you swim? Gaio. Oh, well, I love popsicles, popsicles too, but I think my favorite food is anything with chocolate in it. Um, and... You know, I think with more practice, you'll you'll learn to not get water in your nose when you're swimming. Um, but I'll have to say, it's probably because you're breathing through your nose when you're underwater, so then water goes to your nose. But if you breathe through your mouth, then it won't go through your nose. Good tips. <laughs> this note's from my older daughter, Sonia. Oh, that's a pretty drawing. Dear Siobhan, what tips do you have to swim better? What is your daily schedule? And do you like Taylor Swift? Oh, yes, I love Taylor Swift. <laughs> um, what tips do I have to swim better? Um, well, if I have to say one thing, it'll be to not just think about your arms and your legs as two separate body parts. Just think of it as one and use your whole body to rotate and to move your body. That's how you connect your arms and your legs together. And I think a lot of people forget the connection part. Um, and what is my daily schedule? So I swim a lot. 
I also eat a lot. Um, and I sleep a lot. I <laughs> guess that's, that's all I do. And yes, I love Taylor Swift. She's my favorite singer. Amazing. Do you have a favorite song or album? <laughs> uh, my favorite album might be Red, Taylor's version. So this is from Michelle. Um, how did you stay motivated during lockdowns to maintain your fitness? So when pools were closed, um, I tried to make training fun by doing different things, different land training, different high intensity workouts. So even though I'm not swimming, I'm still maintaining my fitness. And, you know, since the workouts are new and refreshing, it kind of could motivate me to keep going. Um, since it's not the same old boring swimming up and down the pool. Uh, how have your coaches and teammates contributed to your success? They are so important to me and without them, I wouldn't have the success I have now um, because they're there at the pool with me every day, every workout, and they've seen the best of me and the worst of me. And especially during a really hard set or a really hard time in my life they're always there to tell me you got this you can keep going let's do it together come on um so they mean a lot to me um okay last question do you think that you will chase after another world record i hope so i don't know i can't say yes or no right now but that i would love to but it's not going to be easy but i guess we'll see to be continued <laughs> to be continued <laughs> <laughs>